Next we come to the channel section. Here is where we determine which layouts are shown on which devices. To create a channel, click new channel. First thing we have to do is give our channel a name and choose our default layout. Our default layout will always show on our device as long as we haven't set a schedule or an override. We will come onto these in a second. Next we can choose our device or devices that we want this layout to be shown on. Once we're happy, click create channel. It will then ask us to publish our channel. To publish our channel, click this button here. Once our channel has been published and our device is online, it will start to download the layout. To make sure this has worked, we can go back to devices, where we can either get a screenshot by starting our controller, or we can go into the device and check the channel date and timestamp. If we then go back into our channels, we will see when our channel was last published and whether any schedules or overrides have been set. If we wanted to change the layout that was showing on our device, we can go back into our channel, change the default layout, save our channel and publish. Every time we make a change to our layout or to our channel, we need to publish for our device to download the changes. Once again, the device will have to be online, connected to the internet for it to download any changes that you've made. As mentioned before, we can add schedules and overrides to our channel. If we go back into our channel, we can set these up. First of all, we're going to add a schedule. A schedule is handy if you have a layout that you want to repeat every week at the same days and the same times. So first I'm just going to quickly change our default layout. And we're going to set a schedule to show our fire drill layout. We then decide on the start time and the end time. So if we only want to show it between 9 and half 9, on just a Wednesday. We then choose our layout, which is going to be our fire drill. Now when we save and publish our channel, our default layout will always show unless it's a Wednesday between 9 and half 9 in the morning when it will show our scheduled layout. For this to take effect we have to save and publish. We can also add overrides by going back into our channel. An override will replace our default layout and any schedule that we've been set with the layout that we choose. So let's add an override. First we give it a name and then we choose the start date and start time. and then an end date and an end time. We then choose our layout.
So as this has been set, from this date and this time until this date and this time, our device will only show this layout. Even if our schedule was set between these dates and these times, this will only show this layout. Once the end date and end time have passed and we don't have a schedule set, our device will go back to displaying our default layout. Again, this will continue to play this default layout until a schedule has been met. Again, for this to take effect, we need to save and publish. We can then see our channel has been published with a schedule and an override. We can also schedule our channel to publish. We could use this if we have already created next week's content in our layouts, as an example. So we would go into our channel, we would make our changes, for example we would change our default layout and save. Before publishing our channel we can schedule it. We would then select a date and a time that we want to publish our channel. We will then see here that our channel will publish at that time and that date. In our layout builder, we have a few options that we can choose from after we've saved our layout. So we've already seen save and preview. We can save and exit to the layouts page. We can save and continue editing, or we can save and publish our channel. This will only work if our layout is assigned to a channel that's already been published. So we have set up a channel with this layout and it's been published to a device. So if we make a change in our layout, so for instance if we add an image into one of our zones, we can save and publish. We can select the channel that we want to publish.